and welcome to a schematics update. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different than our normal shows, so it's going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, it's it's going to be a shorter format. I, I think this should be interesting. And we're going to be talking about a big update that has come to OpenRCT. This is not public yet, but a friend of mine, Crutonium, was nice enough to pass the three of us builds. And essentially, it adds OpenGL lighting to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And it's kind of kind of insanely beautiful looking, but uh, before we get into it, um, I'm just going to real quick uh, say hello. How you doing today, Adfo and Fog? Hey. So um, our guest host today is Fog, and uh, why don't you just uh, tell the internet who you are? Hi, my name is Fog. Um, I mainly do a lot of Planet Coaster stuff at the moment, but a lot of my roots are from Roller Coaster Tycoon, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Yeah. This update is absolutely mad. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. It's it's bloody gorgeous. And uh, I think we all know who Adfo is, but hi, Adfo. We just brought him along because we needed another voice. <laughs> yeah, I'm the stand-in. Uh, hey, guys. Um, yeah, well, not really. I mean, I uh, grew up playing uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and also 2 and expansions. So first thing I would like to mention is this is virtually unplayable right now. Um, as you can see on the screen, it looks gorgeous when paused, but in motion, various parks have have screwed up frame rates uh, it also speeds up and slows down the rate at which the game moves for some reason i'm not sure why like i don't know if any of you guys had the experience this but when in testing um on some parks everything would run at double speed on some it would run fine that being said um it's also only been worked on for a week so this is the open rct developers working on this for one week and the results so far have been amazing i agree it's absolutely beautiful. So um, I just want to real quickly mention, like, this is going to change design in RCT because suddenly lighting is a massive issue. Like, we, we need more light pieces. True. I mean, there yeah. aren't that many light pieces in the game, at least as far as I know. <laughs> Aside from just basic lamps, you know? And a lot of those just kind of get ignored in a lot of builds because, well, there's no reason for them, essentially. And they're kind of very thematic and, well, up until now, there haven't really been a reason for them aside from aesthetic. Mm, yes. So the in the introduction of actual light as a factor that you maybe need to consider is probably going to need more lamps, really. We need lamps, directional lighting, things to light up dark areas, uh, brighter lights, maybe even different colors of lights. Mm. Yeah. And um, I think it might get. It would be very interesting if this um, uh, lighting system actually becomes part uh, part of the actual management game. Maybe there's sections of the park that are underlit, and you might get a negative impact in that area of the park because of that. You mean like more vandalism? Potentially more vandalism, or um, just a, a negative mood buff. Yeah, that's cool. Like it, this park is too dimly lit in this area, and. This is giving me RimWorld flashbacks of In Darkness debuff. There you go. I, I, I think this kind of goes without saying, as you can see on the screen, like these visual effects are absolutely amazing. Um, I just want to real quickly say that a lot of the screenshots you're going to be seeing are going to be paused, but the sun moves with the time of day. So the, the light will slowly rotate around the map, just like an actual sun, which is insane. Hold on, did you just went over the, the the graphic effects are amazing topic like it was nothing i mean seriously dude I, uh, when i have seen the, the first screenshots i was blown away by how it looks really i mean it's it's mind-blowing yeah it's it's beautiful looking i just wanted to point that out <laughs> oh yeah the the fact that it has been something people have been doing recently and trying to kind of do with this idea of rendering before, but now actually being able to render and hopefully at some point play with these settings, that's just going to change workflows, that's going to change how people actually kind of show off their creations. Mm. Yes. So it's a really exciting kind of time to be following the project really. That being said, I, I do think that the the intensity of some of the shadows and some of the effects are a little bit... I, I would love to see some sort of slider where you, where you could adjust intensity, either limit it a bit or in, increase bloom in some areas. I, I, I don't know how any of this works, so it's hard for me to say, but, you know. Yeah, it's kind of in that... Um, 
well, looking inwards, it looks absolutely gorgeous, but we're only looking at how it actually kind of aesthetically looks rather than how it works in the background. I, yeah. I'm almost scared to say, could you potentially move this by a couple blocks and then that just causes a, a wealth of problems, just not for being from a coding background. Yeah. But um, I would say the, the shadows at the moment are a little bit too long for the daytime, but I think that would be really good for sunset and nighttime. Yeah. So if it just gets to the point where we can have that intensity, either how how much you want kind of bar, mm. or it potentially uh, transfers over and tra- transfer and transforms over the actual course of the day. Yeah, like sunset, dawn, dusk lighting, you know, like the kind of a mm, glow yeah. for dawn, a glow for dusk, maybe even clouds. Ooh, yeah. You know, like um, in SimCity 3000 had clouds. Yeah. Uh, they were just like a giant like sprite thing that would float across the top of the map, but it would create shadows. Yeah. And it's quite interesting. Now that we do have this um, OpenGL shadows, it does give a bit more incentive to actually play with the day and night cycle. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but before I started to look at these shadows and start to incorporate into how I showcase things, I really didn't use too much of the the day and night cycle, but it actually feels justified now. With Talking about showcasing, I think right now it's um, basically just showcasing parks and making beauty shots because it's, as Blind said earlier, it's not really playable right now and it kind of glitches in some situations it's funny that you mentioned glitches because whenever it starts raining it more or less inverts the colors right like (laughs) i don't know the cause of that but like it's you go from like this like beautiful landscape to a inverted color hellscape and it's (laughs) i mm, not not exactly ideal not hope hopefully not talking out um talking out the rear on this one but uh i did look a little bit into OpenGL. The way that they're, I think they're actually going about doing this um, recolorization in the shadows is they're having atlases of all of the piece sprites. Mm-hmm. Um, and it might actually be that the the color correction that was already uh, enabled by the weather, in addition mm-hmm. to the shadows, it might actually be pushing it off the lower end of the atlas, causing this graphical era where it looks a little bit like a DOS game in places. I don't know about you guys, whether you've seen that, but uh, mm, yeah, that might be a... It's okay. Feel free to correct us in the comments if we're wrong. Oh, totally. <laughs> he ups engagement. If you have, like, with this, you know, we're, we're starting to distance, like, put a distance between RCT2 and OpenRCT with this. Up until now, it's always been OpenRCT is the same thing, more or less. It just adds a couple features. Mm. once this is working and this is playable this is a different game now you know like uh, my chat yesterday when we were going through this and exploring it repeatedly what i was seeing was this is rct hd this is art rct remastered you know this is this is something else now this is no longer the game that we played this is brand new and then you go back to the old game and it's jarring like it's it's so flat and Mm. there's so little going on and visually it's it's missing something now. And especially once we have open graphics finished, once there's a full graphics tile set for the game. So um, I, I just, I kind of want to wrap up this this video with a short um, call to action. If you have any experience in creating 3D models, sprites, graphics, um, I'll put a link in the description where you can get involved with OpenGFX and uh, maybe we can get a few more people helping them out with that because right now the group is very small and there's a lot of assets in RCT. It looks so different uh, from what uh, Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 looked. I feel like it's the, the next step. Yeah. Open RCT was the first step. Now with the new graphics, it's the next step, and I'm really curious what's going to be step after that. Yeah, I mean, I'm really hoping for many great things, and I love the game. I haven't played it in a long time, but thanks to Blind's um, multiplayer Monday streams, I got a little bit back to the game, and I'm kind of looking forward to play it more in the future. I personally feel up until before we've got the shadows and before we've actually got some of these game-changing elements it's felt a little bit like rollercoaster tycoon with love and care and all the trimmings that you could want 
but now that we're actually seeing advancements in graphics, advancements in in the actual open graphics that we're getting and the, the new shadows, it really does start to feel like it it's going beyond what the original title was. Yeah. It's really interesting in the sense that me and Blind, when we kind of got access to this, we took a little bit of time to actually go back and revisit familiar places like uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 maps, mm. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 maps, and it it was absolutely mind-blowing to see them in a new light and almost see them remastered with some of the effects in uh, Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. It's like taking an old memory and putting a like nostalgia filter over it, and it's just like, wow, this is what I remember this game looking like. I mean, exactly s- sadly, that. I haven't had um, a lot of save files from the game, but with the new graphics, the game on and loaded um, scenarios and on my second screen, uh, without the new graphics or the new lighting, and I loaded the same scenario and looked at both, and it's, yeah, it's amazing. It's definitely a step in the the right direction, I think. And I I, I think we're all sitting here at schematics and going, man! Can't wait to see more. Thank you very much to everybody who tuned into this uh, schematics update. Anybody has uh, any feedback, as always, just like yell at us in the comments. And uh, if you want to get involved with Open um, Open RCT and Open GFX, definitely uh, check out the description. I will make sure all the links and information are down there. Um, and yeah, with that, 